Be focused on your dive and what you're doing. You cannot stay there and just think about something else. It's just you, the platform, and the water waiting for you. You have to be full mind and full focus on what you have to do. Since I was six years old, I used to do diving. I remember as a kid, one of my biggest dreams it was to travel around the world. And right now I'm doing that and doing the sport that I love. I belong to the biggest competition of cliff diving in the world. We're diving off a cliff of 27 meters to 29 meters height. You know, a regular diving you go, the highest is 10 meters. And uh, for us it's more professional and a little bit higher. The most important part of cliff diving and high diving is what you do in the pool. You need to choose which dives you're gonna make from 27 meters, because it's only four dives. Once you make your choice, you need to train on those four dives. Basically, on 10 meters, we make half of the dive. We're not going like all the way through, you know? Once you go to 27 meters, you make the rest of the dive. My difficult dive is four somersaults and one and a half twists. From 10 meters, I can only try three somersaults with one twist. So the second part of the dive is always on 27 meters. So you have no idea what is gonna come after that. All the preparation and all the hard work has to be here. You cannot train like on 27 meters because it's dangerous. So uh, this is the most important part. If you don't do it right, you can dive. There is many places where the current is pretty strong. So if you get knocked out on the water, the scuba divers, they can lose you in the water and the worst case scenario. The entering to the water is, is also one of the most important things in our sport. We go into the water, I will say 85 to 90 kilometers an hour. You have to be totally straight in the water, otherwise if you're short or if you're over, you can knock out. The margin to commit a small error is, is very small. Three seconds in the air, you have no time to see that much. What you see the most is just the water at the end of the dive. And, and if you see it, you're good. If you are not scared doing this, it's better to quit. You have to respect what you're doing. I always make the comparison with a guy jumping in a car, drunk. You're not respecting your life. You're not respecting anything around you. And the accident comes. It's the same for us. When you go there and you stand up on 27 meters and you're not feeling scared or you're not afraid of what you're gonna do, probably an accident will come. We have to control our mind. We have to control our body. And that's why all the hard work during the off season, it gives you all this control. And of course, it's, it's really important for, for us. Well, last season was full of up and downs. I wanted to try a new dive and it wasn't working that well at the beginning, you know? But that's the point when the experience comes. If you do it more times, it's gonna work at some point. There we go, he's got the new dive dialed in. The half of the season I have like a very consistent competition. My last competition of the year in Chile, it was like one of, of the best competitions that I, that I ever had in my life. Gary Hunt, he come on eighth position and I won that competition. So that was the only possible result to win the World Series and it's how it works at the end. You spend your whole life trying to be the best. I understood that all the hard work at the end pay off and I was the happiest guy in the world. My goals in a closer future, it will be like become the champion again. And if I have to say like in the next 10 years, I will love to be the champion. I know my sport is not that typical sport when you have to pick when you're 25 years old, probably I'm 28 at this point and the older dive that is diving with us is 45 years old. So I will say that I have at least another 10 years, you know, and uh, I would love to be the champion for the rest 
of my career.